Okay, Chef Russell here. It's uh, early Wednesday morning, March 7th, I believe. And the whole reason for my project is to prove or dispel any rumors surrounding the cafeteria food. Now, uh, I have yet to come to a conclusion yet on the quality of the cafeteria food. I still have to experience it a little more. But uh, an interesting thing that I have to note is that I've been uh, checking my tongue scraper for the last two days and uh, I've noticed an increase in food particles on my tongue after experiencing cafeteria food. I don't know what this means yet, but it's, uh, it's one of those things I'm a, I'm a little worried about. Let's see how it progresses throughout the week. Chef Russell, signing out. Can I have your student ID number? Uh, student ID, uh, yeah, 2 one Oh wait, I don't actually have my card, but uh... Okay, no, no big deal, it's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, cheesy bread. Okay, day three of brunch. Got some cheesy bread and orange, and I'm trying some vanilla milk. I feel like I'm gonna... I'm gonna have some lactose problems after drinking this milk twice a day. Um, cheesy bread. Looks like a greasy, delicious mess. I can't say it's gonna be healthy, but I can say that I probably will enjoy it. Let's go eat. Okay, just finished brunch. I actually didn't even finish it. The cheesy bread was way too much. It was too greasy for me to handle. I ate my cutie, finished my milk, but it was just, uh, I'm getting a little uh, sick of getting brunch every day. The lines are long. Oh, day three. I'm uh, here with a good friend, Demo. He is a very health conscious uh, runner. I ran cross country with him. Demo, what do you have to say about the cafeteria food here? Um, I'd say it's it's not that good. Uh, the fruits are usually either banged up, from the fruit cups don't really taste that good, and they give you the runs occasionally. It's just it's sort of because of a lack of alternatives. I come here because either this or I go to Safeway, and pick stuff, and make my own lunch. That's just the way too much. Demo, you've been very insightful in this interview. I'm uh, glad to know more about the runs and the cafeteria food link. Right. Okay, today I'm stepping a little out of my comfort zone. Normally I do not get chicken sandwiches, but I decided to see just how this uh, spicy chicken sandwich tastes. We've got carrots and then uh, we got some tater tots. Let's see, uh, let's see how this lunch goes. I'm here with Walnut Creek native Evan Cohen. Evan, why do you not buy from the cafeteria? Because I make my lunch. You make your lunch every single day? And you've never bought from the cafeteria? Are you just too cool for school? Too cool for that. <laughs> okay, time to review the lunch that I just had today. Um, a bit of a disappointment, actually. Uh, the tater tots were kind of mushy. Not too warm. I understand them not being warm, but they were mushy. They weren't too good. The spicy chicken sandwich. Um, it was literally a piece of spicy chicken on two hamburger buns. I mean, I guess there's condiments I could put on it, but I was expecting a little more. They gave me the bare minimum, and I think it's safe to say I was very disappointed with what I got. And the quality, I didn't even end up finishing my chicken sandwich. I think by day three, I'm starting to get a little, a little disenchanted with cafeteria food. It's a little much to have for an entire week, and it's only day three. <sighs> Chef Russell, signing out.